Hey, welcome back to RB Source. Today we're taking a closer look at a crucial aspect of our platform, filters. Understanding and effectively using these filters can significantly enhance your sourcing strategy. Filters in RB Source are designed to help you navigate through a vast array of products, pinpointing those that best meet your business criteria. For those just starting out with RB Source, we recommend setting broader filters. Why? Because overly narrow filters might conceal potential leads worth considering, and it often takes time to learn what filter settings work best for you. An important point to remember is that a result must meet all your filter criteria in order to be displayed. For example, if you set a minimum of $3 profit and 30% ROI, a product must meet both criteria to appear in your results. Suppose a product offers a $10 profit at 28% ROI, or another gives $2.50 profit but at a 100% ROI. Neither would meet both criteria, so they won't show up. The key is to set each filter to the absolute minimum you'd accept if all other metrics were ideal, ensuring you don't miss out on viable opportunities. For more advanced filtering strategies, check out the Sourcing Tips section in our guides, where you'll find valuable insights to refine your approach. Setting up your filters is straightforward, you can do this in your account settings. These default filters are automatically applied whenever you access the vault or run a scan. While your account level filters are automatically applied, you can adjust them on the fly within the results or vault pages. This flexibility is crucial when focusing on specific retailers or deal types. When launching a scan, you can opt to use your account filters, set custom filters for that specific scan, or use no filters at all. Remember, the results saved will be based on these chosen filters. You can narrow them when viewing the results, but broadening them won't reveal more as they weren't included in the initial scan. Now, let's delve into the specific filters available in Arbisource, highlighting some recommended settings along the way. Min-max filters. The first set of filters let you set a minimum and maximum value, including profit, ROI, BSR percentage or number, average profit based on historical selling prices, total number of sellers, estimated sales, and product cost. For average profit, you can choose a time frame of the past 30, 90, 180, or 365 days. Remember to check this box to enable this filter. Another common strategy is to set the minimum number of sellers to two, helping remove results likely for private label products. Match, image, and title confidence. Default and recommended settings are 0 to 100% for title and image confidence, with 70 to 100% set for overall match confidence. Reduce the overall match confidence if you have time to sift through more mismatches for less obvious leads. Exclusion filters. There are a number of filters that let you exclude certain results. These include results without a buy box, without a BSR, oversized items, missing fees, and various other criteria such as Amazon being on the listing or not sharing the buy box, restricted products, potential IP issues, out-of-stock items, hazmat or dangerous goods, and mismatches reported by yourself, or at least three others. EAN and UPC-only matches. An effective strategy is to enable this filter while reducing overall match confidence. This can help discover products that match on barcode but have different images unveiling hidden opportunities most other users are not looking at. That wraps things up. Remember, filters are your gateway to efficient and effective product sourcing in Arbisource. Experiment, adapt, and watch how your sourcing strategy evolves. And remember, our team is always here to assist with any queries or to provide deeper insights. If you aren't already a member of Arbisource, click the link in the description to start your seven-day free trial today.